have to say when they were fined two hundred forty thousand dollars? Oh, that's nothing. That's not gross. That's not going to hurt. Anything us. that happened out here, that their statement was always, "This will not have any effect whatsoever yeah. at our, on our profit." Yeah. And I and, and they were bold, right to right to Secretary Hanger. You know, they slammed. They took out a, a page in a newspaper and told him said he was a liar. And what did he do? He allowed them to continue in the state. You need to talk to John Hanger because he's trying to rewrite history now too. You know, all the people from DEP are, are leaving to go work with the gas industry. Yeah, he's, he's a lawyer now for gas industry. But so I, he's what, a lawyer and a lobbyist. Is that we don't have an environmental protection agency. EPA is not doing their job. Promoting. Well, plus those poor guys are going to get hacked. And you know what? Let's take this all the way to Obama. I worked for his campaign. I support that man big time in a in a neighborhood that called him a towel head. I mean, I wasn't very popular in trying to draw. I went to my neighbors, please vote for Obama. And I'm ashamed of Obama because he thinks natural gas is wonderful. I met him and he had a clean coal hat on. I thought, oh, someone needs to talk to this guy. Clean, there is no such thing as clean coal. That's a myth. Just like natural gas, that's an oxymoron. Who said you can't? You can do without Gulf shrimp, but you can't do without yeah. Pennsylvania water. Yeah. And this is really bad. Mm -hmm. And who's the industry owns this country, oil and gas? Well, of course, that runs everything. Probably the world. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We're just little flies at their picnic. We're just a thorn in their side. That's all we are. They don't like us too much, but. Well, know. what one of them described it to me is we're just in the way. Nothing else, just in the way. Eco terrorist, we've been called. Oh yeah, anti, yeah, anti drilling. Oh, yeah. yeah, was it anti drilling? Eco terrorist. Militant environmentalist yeah. or something? Or, you know, yeah, and little, you know, we also call. were put on that. Uh, some of the things we write yeah. online was yeah. put into that Homeland Security bulletin. I was well, I, I always thought I'd end up on that list, but I didn't know. I didn't know how I was going to get on that list. I'm kind of proud that I'm on that list. And I simply wrote some things about you know the Cabot picnic that if you go to the picnic, don't act like an idiot. Well, that ends up in a Homeland Security uh, bulletin as strategizing. Strategizing Absolutely. against the uh, uh, gas company. So this is the United States. You know, I used to teach uh, history and government to my kids, and it's a shock to see what's happening here. And the, the, all the proponents for it, they keep on saying, why are you guys always picking on the gas company? Why can't you leave them alone? Why are you always picking on them? I don't know where they come from, do you? I, I, I don't understand that. But like I said, it's going to be the poor rural Appalachia that's going to bear the burden. The affluent aren't going to have these wells in their backyard and the compressor stations okay. next to their $500,000 homes. No. And, you know, it's going to be like this. You heard what Engel said. Some people are just going to have to pay. Well, he told us, we, um, Terry Engelder, have you hooked up with him yet? He's the, pen, he's the gas guy. He's the guy that projected the figures on how much uh, Marcellus uh, could be extracted, and you could see the drilling rigs just shot up after his report came out from Penn State. And I've had a dialogue with him, and, and uh, I wasn't too, too happy with him, because I said, the burden's on you. You brought the troops to Pennsylvania, and how this plays out in history is going to be on you. On you. And he said that we were going to be uh, the necessary sacrifice. Yep. Oh, yeah. So when I met him finally in person, I had I had only talked to him on phone or email, and I met him from Sullivan County when he was speaking at John's event, mm -hmm. and I stood in line to meet him, and I said, "Hello, I'm Victoria Swaitzer, the I'm the sacrifice." And he said, "Oh, Victoria, finally we meet!" And oh my God, he was so sweet. I thought I was going to go into a diabetic mm -hmm. coma. He was just as nice as he could be, but uh, I think I made some points with him, and I did get him to admit that this would not be uh, truly an economic boom if. You know, it, it's as destructive as, it's, as I told them it's going to be. Or, or I think, gosh, I think we have evidence. Bradford County, oh, on that site that I was on, how many wells they have. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You see, there's no spacing regulation. You see this? There's no, no law that says they can't have that many wells. And maybe some, that's something they should have looked at before they issued permits. Like, would you say there's a number that once you pass the number, you lose your quality of life? You know, like, let's say... Okay, an area of 10 square miles could have two well pads, X number of wells, and nothing would change. I mean, hopefully nothing would change. But no, no, let's just put them every 500, every 1,000 feet because we have to get every drop of gas out. Well, they're still going to make money. 
if if they did some kind of density, you know, spacing, and then we could still have some quality of life. But that has been totally missed. Hmm. We are we're the ones that have to just grin and bear. We have to, you know, find a way to uh, coexist or leave. I, I I assume they want us to leave. I think that's why they offered us those checks. But uh, we didn't take the money, and we, uh, you know. We know eyes are all the eyes are on us. You know, I mean, really, it is what. They just can't believe that we have stuck together this, this well. They thought we would have folded by now and we would have buckled in. But we're not giving up. We're just not going to do it. We're not giving up. We're going to fight this right to the end. Right, Victoria? Mm. We have to. <laughs> well, the manager of Bradford County came to the, the Delaware Basin Commission hearings and raped. He was like the fifth person to go. He went on and on and on about we have this many wells and we have this much going on and we don't have any problems mm -hmm. and there's absolutely and then a day later I see pictures of like eight people's water buffaloes. Who was that in the Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've yep. seen him up in this. Chesapeake organized like a three hour meeting before the hearings for all the natural gas people <laughs> to get hyped up, uh, gave them stickers, uh, gave them uh, statements uh, to uh, say. So they all appear to have this new angle of, well, they didn't want the environment harmed, and it was, it was beautiful. Well, they certainly have Not the what's money. going on. You know, we are certainly out, uh, out moneyed and out maneuvered, and, uh, but you know, I still believe that uh, grassroots or, or from the ground up, you know, that's how this country, uh, you know, shaped itself, and, uh, mm -hmm. I gotta still believe in that until I can't anymore. Yeah. I well, mean, when I, Josh and, and Mark went to the Capitol, we talked to Mark afterwards because our kids go to the same school, mm -hmm. and he said when they got to the highest up Obama person that they could speak with, he was shocked when they showed them the pictures of Dimmick and what's going on, the fight that you're in. Like they didn't know. They did not know. They they met with Congress people that they knew. They could tell. You know, mm -hmm. they pretended to not be say they didn't really know, but it was just hit their body language. Oh, they were shocked. Nice. Had no idea. Nice. So it was good that they went. But we just have a day. Go, right? so yes, okay. We got to go. Okay. All right.